Encode your DNA. Define your genetic structure. Choose a genetic resilience. Choose your first style. Pick your main color. Choose your detail color. Pick a clock. Commando, Deadeye. Commando, Cyphery, Saboteur. Sentinel, Saboteur, Sentinel. Saboteur, Cyphery, Commando, Deadeye. Commando. Cyphreak, Saboteur, Sentinel, Cyphreak, Commando, Deadeye, Command, Deadeye, Deadeye Chosen. Sounds good. Here's somebody with a troubled past drawn into the spotlight of a story that's already begun. We're already at a crossroads. Choosing a path in life is that, but for you, it's not only a crossroad, but a choice. A reflection of your key, the primal energy that flows through everything. Let me introduce myself. I'm the light and bright side of you. Or your inner voice, to be precise. An echo of... That's right. Light is only for those having... T uh, I'm so... You can't fight. You're trying to keep us in the dark. Right is always right. Stories of death and the bodies left behind, a reminder that we're at the mercy of nature and the one that preys on others.
Do you remember the beast that shattered your family? Or did you choose to forget? You turned your back on our world and got lost in your own. Meanwhile, the predator only grew stronger. for it. This is not the time nor place to end this story. This time, it was best to run and live to fight another day. Let us hope you're ready for it when it comes. The Predator isn't the only threat. The wildlife started to mutate when the end of days began, and the Tree of Life started to die.
the oil sludges everywhere. To most, it only means death, but some have adapted to the new environment and changed with it. Evolution has its ways. things for your big ideas. find good use for things like that.
Look, an emergency box from the once was. A rare sight. Height looks weak. The claw bar should come in handy. Whoa! It's time to find a way out of this place. No, really, I mean it. Biomatter in their multi organ that they shed under distress. Blobs that affect the cellular coding strands of any living being when absorbed, including you. On a leash. Toxinol built vessels called arcs to save themselves from the impending doom. But was it too late? It is only from the flight logs of the single Ark they left behind that we know other Arks Just a few moves left. Make them count. There are few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago, but it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxinol Corporation would make its mark on the world. 
Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste and, without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills until they ran out of space. That's when they made the big mistake. They began dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they were right, but no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. Once in the surf, the radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife and created bizarre mutations in their offspring. It had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. The world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated. It would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. Spark metal going pew pew is never a good thing. It's coming from behind that door. A warning label. The box looks like a potential brain melt. It's going to take a bit of puzzling to short circuit the door. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Quite a shock to the system. Let's try that again. There you go. The wheeled one is outnumbered. You'd better help him out. Talk to the wheeled one before backup arrives. Scrapalicious. He wants to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. He presents himself as out of date. He knows he's way overdue, but he... He doesn't seem surprised that you don't recognize him. You were just a child back then. There have been rumors of a one-eyed ronin seen outside the great... The legend of the one-eyed child... The child could have been anyone. But the evil it had fled. Miami, le yayato. It's a scar, York. Miami, oye, bon. Tuvun bono. The ewe, bomboye. It came up here. It was after the attack that. Tuluya, uto, le boyo bon. Fai katawa, e bubuko von junvu. Had it not been.
<laughs> Asks if you were tired, as it's a bit. <laughs> <laughs> the potato. The nono <laughs> You handle that net. Oh, it'll need a continuous flux of key over the 20 12 months to come, so countless. Now that you've seen the Nono's connection with the tree with your own eyes, you have no reason to doubt. He said. He lost you there for a while, but no memory is alone. It's part of a trail you can follow. He says he remembers every single day he devoted to growing the tree of life, but now he's afraid it might be in vain. The tree started to die when the end. The genetic evolution that occurred. His friend Gizmo is working on a Mecton and needs help defeating the Jumbo Puff at the end of the West Route. Wiz is still repairing his Octopod to confront the Merc Puff that dwells deep down under the surface at the end of the Northwest Route. Noko has tamed the Majut and is preparing to take on the Hoof Puff at the end of the East Route. Finally, Goop is almost done with the Goo Glide, a machine able to ride the waves of the surf all the way out to the Porky Puff at the end of the route to the southeast. 
Ya yumawa yuba tolu kan tita duela bofo uga bun ang uga papa mofo bak tolu yunu lua tula. Regardless. Do wohu. Getting the hang of it. Quickest way out is through the roof where they came in, and the rope looks strong enough to climb. Know that the tree of life is dying. Its days are numbered. Without help, it can't endure the environmental change and assault from the world eaters. A signpost maps it out for the cartographically challenged. Let's see. 